Hello, my luscious Libras. Welcome back. This is your general love reading for you and your person as we wrap up 2022. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this is your story, comment below. And if not, you can always check my channel and your other placements for messages you need to hear. Just please remember to like the video, subscribe, and tap the notification bell so you can catch future readings for your sign. So lovely leaves, thank you so much for being here. Thank you to my subscribers and members. I love you guys. Guys. And uh, also thank you to those of you who have made purchases from my spiritual shop this year or booked personal readings with me. It is so appreciated and so helpful. Um, I did just also launch a 50% off sale for my entire shop, including private readings. So uh, if you are wanting to get those last minute gifts or get your cards read before the year is over, you can find all of my details down in the description box. So that's for those of you who are new to the channel. All of my stuff is always in the description box. My accurate social media links, website, email, payment app information, um, and also a link to the members only area if you want to support the channel in that way. While getting your intimate extended readings, then you could always become a member of the Spicy Subscriber Society. So again, that link is below. Um, and one more big thank you to those of you out there in the spiritual community fighting the good fight, doing the Lord's work. Um, and banning, blocking, reporting, yeeting all of these scam ass accounts that are trying to impersonate me and steal my content. Um, I will never get sick of you guys sending me the screenshots because half the time these accounts have me blocked and I can't even see that they exist. So again, thanks for letting me know. Thank you guys for helping me and continuing to use your discernment out there knowing I will never, ever, 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 ever reach out to you and try to convince you to purchase anything from me um, or get your personal information, okay? If it seems like a scam, it is a scam, okay? So yes, let's move into your reading, Libra. This is a general love reading, as I mentioned, so reverse roles, however they are applying to you and your story. Um, I'm going to be starting with the Chekali Tarot, the large deck, I'll just be using the Major Arcana, and the small deck, I'll be looking into the energy of your person specifically. So, let's go ahead and see what spirit wants Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the lovely cross... I was going to say cross watchers, but we all know y'all are a bunch of crotch watchers out here, okay? So first card out is the Emperor. So Libra, I do feel as if you could be connecting to your divine masculine counterpart, okay? Uh, or this could be your energy as well. So reverse the, the dynamics, however they are appropriate. But you can see with this little short king over here sitting on his rocking chair, even though he looks to be in control, he looks calm, cool, and collected, you know a rocking horse can only go two ways, right? Back and forth. So I do feel that you are connecting with a divine masculine who could potentially be cycling back and forth into um, another connection, okay? Or back and forth in and out of their connection with you. So let's clarify. Let's get some more cards here. The death card. So Snow White and her poison apple laying in the snow. Um, enjoying her long nap, okay? So, yeah, the death card coming up could be something needing to be transformed here within the connection. Um, you know, maybe this could be very symbolic, the energy between you and your person. Maybe you connected with your divine masculine. Now you have been in a long slumber of separation, um, there could very well have been a jealous third party that tried to take you out, Libra, uh, or tried to stop you and this person from connecting. But we all know that true love always breaks the spell in the end. So if you are connecting with a divine masculine and you've been in a separation period with this person, um, it is due to major transformation happening on both sides, okay? Um, this individual here, the emperor, may need to find a way to break out of that in and out or back and forth cycle and start charging forward and taking control of their life and Libra you could be on this other side of things sort of waiting like the princess you are for your person to to wake you up right or for for them to wake up so 
what else do we need to see? The temperance card, okay? Um, it did come up in the reverse. So, you know, Libra, maybe there's a little bit of a frustration here or uh, a need to... <sighs> A need to sort of force things along. Maybe this is something that you've dealt with. Maybe you uh, didn't really realize that this person had their own issues to deal with and divine timing is at play here. So if you've been very patient in regards to this person, some of you might be either losing that patience um, or deciding that you are ready to go off in another direction, right? Wherever spirit may lead you, like these little flying goldfish, okay? We obviously know fish do not fly, and you can see she has a very um, calm and trusting energy here to be laying on its back in the middle of the clouds. So, so yeah, I do feel maybe your person has been... Um, uh, possibly sticking around in a situation and you have just kind of lost your patience here, Libra. That's what I'm picking up on, okay? So, yeah, regardless of divine timing, I mean, how long could you possibly wait for someone to get their act together, okay? It's like at some point you have to sort of face the music and say, okay, time for me to stop trying and, and forcing things or hoping or praying or manifesting. It's time for me to just close my eyes and let the universe guide me to where I need to go. And if I'm guided back to this person, then so be it. But if not, um, there's no stress or sweat off of your back, right, Libra? So as I say, divine timing at play, we have the lovers underneath that. So in this card, particularly, I do feel a bit of a forbidden fruit scenario. You have this lovely lady here that is being encircled by a snake and all these apples being um, floating up in the air just reminds me of the Garden of Eden, right? The story of Eve and the apple and the temptation by the devil. Um, so yeah, there could have been a very tempting situation here, Libra, feeling drawn magnetically to this person, feeling like they were put on your path so that you could be together. But at the end of the day, you know, a choice needed to be made. Okay. So regardless of where you are, whoever you are in this dynamic, um, yes, there is divinely guided soul connection energy here, but I feel like the choice of this person was to continue to stay asleep, okay? Or to continue to stay in their situation, leaving you holding on to, um, to a concept, okay? To a memory, um, to a dream. So one more card from this deck. Y'all, I'm telling you, Libra, before I turned on this camera, my throat was fine. And now all of a sudden it is so itchy, so itchy. So, so yeah, Libra, the magician card here and the fool card, I feel like, you know, maybe you did try to manifest this connection. Uh, maybe you tried to get this person to pull down their mask um, and stop hiding and, and stop missing out on the potential of this powerful connection. And, and like I said, maybe you ended up looking like a fool. Um, I feel like you really wanted this new beginning with this person, but the wheels weren't turning. Okay. It wasn't connecting. There was a lot of hiding, um, and you can see even in this card, this individual has their spirit guide caged. So I think that that's kind of metaphorical for the energy of your person. Maybe they have the potential to be a powerful magician or wizard or witch or whatever, right? But at the end of the day, they they continue to hide that potential, okay? They continue to pretend. And, uh, and yeah, you know, this connection is going to require a giant risk or leap of faith. And so maybe that's something that you already did, Libra. Maybe you did take a leap of faith in this person's direction, tried to make it happen, but it was never real because this person wasn't being authentically themselves, okay? So then you ended up looking like the fool in the situation, which, you know what, Libra, never feel like a fool for sharing your heart, period, okay? Regardless of what other people might think of you, fuck those people, okay? Seriously, like whole fucking heartedly, screw those people because 
You should never let anyone dim your light or tell you that you can't share your heart with someone. Like, life is too fucking short, okay? It really is. So maybe some of y'all have already realized that. Yeah, maybe you played the fool for this person um, and tried to make it happen. But at the end of the day, spirit was like, Libra, stop trying to make fetch happen, okay? <laughs> All right? Like... That is the the painful realization I think that you may have had to come to. And um, and yeah, let's go ahead and just move into this person's energy. All right, let's find out about this person that you're connecting with, Libra. What is going on in their mind? What are they thinking about you? <laughs> so Libra, of all the ironic energies that we could have pulled, right? It's like your person knows that meeting you was destiny, okay? This person is aware also that they've put you in a compromising situation. You can see literally she's stuck to this board and knives are being thrown at her. Um, it's like this person left you to be put under fire while they might have experienced some luck and fortune in their life, okay? Um, so yeah, they, they know that destiny has kind of pulled the two of you together and I don't know, let's see how this is sitting with them. How are they, um, let's clarify that about how they're per, I'm not perceiving you. Gosh, I can't even talk. Throw itchy and I'm tongue tied. Okay. So maybe this person kind of has some stuff they want to say to you. Um, also, Libra, this person could very well be taking on a bit of an aggressive energy right now. They could be dealing with um, some anger issues or dealing with arguments and fights in their environment. You know, maybe the two of you had some harsh words to say to one another. And instead of coming together and forming a bond, you kind of we're at each other's throats, okay? So maybe this energy of your person not being willing to take off their mask was kind of upsetting to you. You might have lashed out at this person. Um, but also the five of wands can signify like competition or third party energy. So yeah, you know, maybe you, maybe you put yourself into the competition, Libra. Maybe you knew that this person was already tangled in another situation and that didn't stop you. And this could have caused a lot of, um, a lot of upset in their life. Okay. So even though maybe this person has been fortunate financially, or maybe they weren't necessarily affected physically by, um, how they left you behind, but they're experiencing that energy in other ways. So you can sort of say that maybe this person is getting their karma for how they treated you. Okay. They might've treated you like just an option. And now they're finding themselves in situations that are pointing out their flaws and it's making them upset. I think also this person could have some ego issues. Okay. Um, let's talk about how they feel about you, Libra. So we have the three of wands in the reverse. So I think this person feels that you are sort of impatient, right? Like I said, maybe you tried to rush this process along. Um, I'm also seeing the fact that this woman is sitting in the tree and they're a guardian angel. Um, they're creating a trail of flowers wherever they go. So again, this person could also be feeling a little bit of regret because you were there for them in certain ways. You know, maybe Libra, you were like a floating fairy angel that came into their life and you know, maybe they did want to go off on that adventure with you at one point, but unfortunately it, it didn't happen, okay? And they left you waiting on your ships for far too long. So I think this person is feeling a lack of energy right now, understanding that you were the something special that was keeping them alive, okay? That might sound so dramatic, but that is what I'm picking up on. So yeah, let's clarify their feelings for you. And, you know, maybe on some level, this person was also waiting for things to align for them um, in their situation on the other side. And it wasn't happening that way, right? Maybe they were hoping that, you know, they could eventually break free or that things would change and they could meet you on the path of the new life that you could have together. But again, it fell flat, okay? And this could have been attributing to what I said earlier about you sort of trying to rush this person along or having these expectations of this 
this person to be uh, or, or show up as this uh, emperor energy, right? So now we have the Queen of Wands popping up as well. So I do feel that this person is very magnetized by you. Um, I feel that they know that you got it going on, Libra, that you are basically the main character. You're the one that lights their fire. Okay. You're sexy. You're a leader. You're passionate. You're driven. Okay. This person knows that you're spicy and that is the whole reason why they were drawn to you in the first place. Okay. Wands represent the soul. It represents passion, fire. So this person did feel and does feel that soul connection with you. Um, but like I said, it's almost like this person might have uh, failed their mission in a sense or feel like they did, right? Like like nothing's going to happen now because maybe they waited too long and this Queen of Wands is going to end up getting away from them. So let's talk about how they're perceiving you in the physical world. The Knight of Wands, okay? So, you know, they see you as someone brave, someone willing to take that risk, um, and someone who's going to go after what they're passionate about without thinking things through. And Libra, you know, it's either one way or the other, right? Either you can't seem to decide what the hell, or you are impulsive, okay? So that is sort of how this person perceives you as being very impulsive, Um and again, taking action in their direction. But with this card here, the five of pentacles, it's like the more you pushed it with them, the more, um, the more the energy of lack seemed to creep in and show you like, what is there really to build on if you don't build on yourself? Libra, it's almost like this person perceives you as someone who was more concerned with making things happen than actually fixing your own life or or creating financial stability for yourself. But, you know, as you can see, this woman who's kneeling on the ground, she's surrounded by cardinals. Okay, these are divine guidance um, energies here. And I think that your person may have forgotten that you are divinely guided and protected. And that is why you don't seem to worry about the same things that they might right? financial uh, status and materialistic shit, because things always work out for you, Libra, no matter what, even when you feel like you're down and out and shit is the worst, somehow your guides, your angels pull you back out of it and show you the way. So that's why you had all this energy and excitement and and action taking um vibes towards this person because you weren't so much worried about the consequences you weren't worried about what was going to happen and in turn this person knows that they had to leave you out in the cold they had to abandon you okay i think something about you libra was a little bit too risky for this person um and instead of following their heart and their passion they decided they were going to stay back okay and they were going to focus on on their 3d environment okay so how are they behaving in the 3d <laughs> the seven of wands so your person is acting very defensive, okay? Um, they could be getting a spiritual spanking right now from the devil over here in this picture. Um, this could be like spirit's way of coming in and telling them like, why didn't you fight for this, right? Um, seven of wands could also be them like standing up for themselves. If they were in a situation, like I said before, where they were already entangled with someone else, you know, that could be another contributing factor as to why they felt it was too risky to pursue you, Libra. They may not have been free to do so. Um, but now we have them acting this way in the physical. So I think it's like they're trying to break free from being under someone's or something's control. Um, the warrior card is like standing up for oneself and doing what's right. So hopefully, you know, hopefully your person keeps going with that energy and fights for what they do truly love and are passionate about their queen of wands, right? So, um, this is how they are likely to take action moving forward, Libra. So you may be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Um, 
you know, I think that this person is incredibly stubborn and does what they need to do to get what they want. And it does oftentimes denote someone who is very, like I said, materialistic or financially conscious. King of Pentacles can represent a businessman or woman. Um, but as far as like dedication, loyalty, trustworthiness, you know, I think your person does want to provide all of those things. But, you know, I think the reason that they couldn't do that before is because they were already providing those things to someone else. King of Pentacles can also represent a married man, okay? So, Libra, this could be Spirit's way of telling you that this person has no intentions of getting a divorce. Um, but if you want to see things from the other side of the, per the spectrum, you could say that this person wants to come in and provide stability and commitment. So, let's clarify. We have the devil card, okay? So I think it's more so the first thing I said. I think this person right now is still kind of caught up in codependency and toxic behaviors. They could also still be falling into um, like addictive patterns surrounding money. Um, so yeah, you know, I think that this person, whatever they're lacking for in soul and heart, they try to make up for it in coins and they always end up getting themselves wrapped up in some toxic ass shit. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I, that's kind of how I see it, Libra. I wish I could sugarcoat this reading and tell you this person's going to come for you and they're going to make things right and all this stuff. But I think your person is still kind of stuck in their own, like, I don't even know right now. I don't even want to tell you because this devil carrot is looking kind of scary to me. Okay. So what is their dream? Their wish? The sun. Oh my goodness. So they're hoping for a happy, positive new beginning here. I think this person really just wants to be happy. Okay. They want to frolic in the meadows with the bees and the honey and they want to enjoy their life. Okay. This is a card of optimism. It's a yes. It's a confirmation. So I think on a soul level, your person does desire happiness for sure. And they're clearly not happy right now in their toxic situation if that's what they're desiring desiring okay this could also be them hoping to rise up to the potential of their highest self since this is a masculine energy so let's clarify the nine of pentacles so yeah you know libra i don't know maybe maybe your person will eventually come in um, as the stable, loyal, and dependable earth sign that you've been waiting for because their desire is to break free from codependency. Their desire is to be single. Their desire is to find their soulmate, um, not someone who is just going to be a toxic attachment. Um, I think on some level, this person deep down knows that there's no way they could ever be on your level unless they came to you first as this someone completely free and not depending on anyone else for anything else not being in some third party situation okay libra you ain't no side dish so don't let anybody treat you that way okay so what is this person's challenge i mean you could see the devil carrot as a challenge okay uh their challenge is finding the strength to go after what their heart desires. All right, you see this individual standing on a house of cards made out of only hearts cards, but there are flies buzzing around her. So, you know, this person could have some people who do not wish them well, keeping an eye on them, um, just kind of waiting for them to fail or setting them up for failure. You can see here there's an attack on the hearts down here at the bottom of the card. So this person, their challenge is to, to find the courage and the strength to get themselves out of this situation where maybe someone else has all of the control um, and where they could feel as if they're under spiritual attack. So bottom of the deck, we have the three of swords clarifying that this situation is indeed a third party. Okay, the underlying energy here is your person knows what they did to you, Libra, and they're just as heartbroken, okay? I don't think they ever intended to hurt you, but the fact that they did is keeping them stuck and pinned against this wall. It's like they may want to heal, but they're not able to because, again, they know what they did. They know that they hurt you. They know that they put you in a situation that made you look bad, okay, to maybe save face or, or save their own ass, 
So, uh, so like I said, Libra, if this person does come back around eventually to you, I hope that you use your discernment and don't let them uh, come back into your life without doing some explaining, okay? And without proving to you that you're not some fucking cold ash mashed potatoes and gravy, okay? You're not some side corn with butter. You're not the sweet potato, Libra. You're the fucking roast chicken, okay? You're the prime rib. You are the New York strip. You are the, the lobster tail. You're the main fucking course. And whoever it is that is lucky enough to have you, Libra, they better damn well treat you like that or they don't deserve to even sit at your table, okay? So let's go ahead and find out what's going on in this person's external situation. And we're getting the lovers out first. Um, so yeah, like I said, this person has a choice to make. They're definitely feeling divinely guided. Um, they know that this is a soul connection between the two of you um, and the judgment card coming in is spirit tooting that horn straight down their esophagus okay they know because they've seen the signs they've gotten all the clear messages from spirit telling them you're on the wrong path okay you need to uh, choose love Okay, choose your heart's desire. Choose what your soul is calling out for. Otherwise, you're just going to have these same lessons repeating and repeating themselves. The same toxic situations going on loop. Um, and look at that. We have the magician in the reverse as well. It's because this person has always had the power and the resources and the ability to manifest this connection and make things happen. But they've chosen to hide that potential. They've chosen to act like they don't have a say or that they can't make any moves and this person is acting powerless all right so spirit had to step in and tell them what the hell was up all right so let's get one more shuffle here for their external situation okay so y'all y'all i can't like you really can't even make this shit up so first of all, we have the nine of pentacles in the reverse. So your person, again, they're still not single. They're still in a connection tied down. This could just be um, legally, right? Maybe your person has already sort of detached themselves. But legally, financially, they're still attached to, drum roll please, the queen of cups in the reverse. So, you know, we we're talking about this person being entangled in a third party. I know some of y'all are probably tired of hearing this shit, but I cannot, like I said, I'm just, I'm pulling the cards, Libra. So this person has been conditioned to care, I guess, about what this, um, shadow energy is in their life i'll say shadow energy because you can see by this smug look on her face i find the queen of cups in the reverse to be very manipulative um someone who is a user someone with no empathy someone who is is going to use emotions to hurt people and uh i'm hearing abusive so you know libra this person has been dealing with abuse from this energy and um the seven of wands in the reverse is telling me that they they put up with it for a lot longer than they ever needed to okay this is someone who you know who gave up on the fight, all right? This person may have given up on their dream of happiness and laid down their wands because they know that there's no battling this Queen of Cups, okay? And having you come into their life could have been the thing, the dawning awakening, the realization that their true love, the one they've been divinely guided to, is going to slip through their fingers if they don't stand up for themselves and create an ending in that situation, okay? Bottom of the deck is the Three of Cups. So yeah, I do think more third-party confirmation. This person could very well be... Um, wanting to reconcile right wanting to reunite and make things right but if they have all of this stuff to deal with it's like this reunion is going to evade them until they can become trustworthy okay three of cups is about trust and friendship and celebrating life like with the people that you you know are your people your tribe um, but I think this person has been stuck in a, a situation that has not been feeling very celebratory okay I think that they're longing to make things right with you Libra so and you know obviously what they need to make right is this seven of swords here 
they were not honest with you they put you in that situation they misled you okay maybe they um Maybe, you know, they, they tried to like get away with uh, flirting with you or communicating with you or uh, just entertaining you, Libra, and making you think that this was going somewhere when in reality there was nowhere to go. Okay, this person um, is on a very tight leash. They can barely go to the bathroom without this queen of cups up their ass. So I do feel as if this person is being plagued by guilt of their dishonesty and their deception towards you, Libra. Um, and it's really making them want to apologize with the page of cups. So yeah, you know, I think this person definitely wants to reveal their emotions to you, but um but if they are going to come forward, like I said, it's it's going to be small. It's not going to be anything big. And I do hope that you choose to use your discernment here, okay? This person owes you more than just some half ass apology, okay? They owe you a complete emotional confession and their total honesty to, to even think about moving anything forward. So, yeah, you know, look at that. Ten of Cups as well. So I do feel Spirit is saying that there is a potential for happiness and fulfillment here in this connection. And your person definitely knows it. Um, but it's a long way to the top, right? This person needs to rectify their actions and make things right before this Ten of Cups can come into fruition. So... Oh my God, Libra. I know I said earlier, like, don't expect this person to blah, 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 blah. But then we have the eight of wands. Okay. So there is a chance that this person could, um, begin communicating with you. Okay. And also the eight of wands is a card of love at first sight or lover's arrows. So it's hard to release those type of connections, right? When you have that instant click of a moment with someone and the energy is just like sparks flying, um, it's hard to walk away. And I think that's what this person is having trouble doing is walking away. It's like they tried to be comfortable in their shitty poo poo situation and they, they weren't. And then they were like, you know, in denial, I think for a little bit. And now they're starting to come to terms with the fact that they're actually just like sticking their own boot up their ass and making their life even harder than it needs to be. Okay, so anyways, Libra, let's get some advice from spirit. What does spirit want you to know? As we close out the year, oh, Libra, of course we would get the benefit of the doubt card, right? I believe in the basic goodness of other people and I give them the chance to show it. If they prove me wrong, that's on them. At least I can go to sleep knowing that I practice trust and forgiveness rather than fear and doubt. And later on, if I need to, I can always change my mind and retroactively judge them like it's my career. So speaking of judgment, you know, I'm thinking about the Libra scales, right? No one is more fair and balanced than you, Libra. So, you know, give this person a chance to prove you wrong. Um... If you have like a negative uh, misconception about this person based on your circumstances, you know, if they do come forward, I think spirit's telling you to like, let this person prove to you who they really are, like give them a chance to show you because how were they going to show you who they really were when they were still wrapped up with someone else, right? I think this person could have maybe taken on the energy of that connection. And like I said, they didn't, they didn't have anywhere to go. They maybe wanted to go and, and go along with you on your risky little adventures, Libra, but they couldn't. They couldn't go anywhere because they were stuck in something else. So don't judge this person for their circumstances. Just allow them to show you who they truly are. Now, that is if they do reach out to you, Libra. If they don't reach out to you, then keep it pushing. All right. If this person is going to continue to stay trapped and stuck forever, then like the card says, that's on them. All right. And now we have tact. I speak and act with care, remembering that impulsive words or harsh tone can sometimes hurt others. If it feels like I'm walking on eggshells, I'll remind myself that those eggshells might actually be a shop full of china and it might actually be a bull. Then I'll remind myself to stop mixing metaphors. So Libra, let's go back to the Knight of Wands and how your person was feeling about you. Maybe um, acting too impulsively or... Um, you know, trying to make something happen here. You you may not realize the impact of your actions and your words on this person because 
I feel like this is a little bit of your personality too. You're a little bit of a bull in China shop um, sometimes because you are outgoing, you are bubbly, you are not meaning to um, overstate or overstep, but sometimes you, you might. And you have to remember that perception is reality. So remember to... Um, Remember to think about that if this person reaches out to you to continue to remain tactful and full of class and um, show this person that, you know, yes, you were excited. Yes, that energy was building and yes, you wanted to jump on it and take advantage of it. But you also have a very serious side to yourself as well, Libra. And maybe that's what was lacking this whole time. Maybe this person only got to see that one part of your personality due to the intensity of the connection that you shared. All right. So, um, if you feel it necessary, then you may also want to provide this person with the opportunity to get to know you better. Okay. Not just the, not just the you that they perceived when they first met you. Okay. So let's get some love messages from the 5d. By the way, this is a deck that I created. It can be purchased. Oh, let me raise it up. It can be purchased in my shop uh, on makeplayingcards.com. So that link is down below. So what does your person want to say to you, Libra from their higher self? I've written you a thousand letters, but I can't seem to find it in me to send one. I'm afraid you're better off without me. So yeah, like I said, I think this person has a desire to communicate with you, to clear the air, set the record straight. But I think every time they try to put it into words, it's just like, it's so overwhelming for them. Okay. What else do we need to see here? You know, maybe this isn't one of those situations where a letter will suffice. Like, who wants to be given a letter, okay? Um, maybe you and this person need to have a face-to-face -face conversation. That might solve some things. I'm so used to others using and hurting me that it seemed too good to be true when you showed me love. I ran because I was afraid you would be just like the others. Okay, so Libra talking about misconceptions. What's a common misconception about the Knight of Wands? Okay, this person could have thought you were just like a slut, um, somebody who just wanted what they wanted and who wasn't going to be serious about them. Okay, maybe this person didn't take you very seriously back then. Okay, and maybe they did that as a way to protect themselves since they were already so used to the energy of the Queen of Cups. Okay, we also have how could I not love you? You're all I've ever wanted and more. So Libra, again, another reminder that this is more about this person's insecurity than anything about you okay I see how patient you've been with me and I'm so thankful for your loyalty and kindness so yeah I mean Lord knows Libra we can be very patient when we want something right um, but you know once someone shows us their their harsh or negative qualities once we experience the ugly face of rejection sometimes we can turn cold too so you know, your person could also be like worried uh, about losing you, knowing that you're very patient, seeing how you have been um, during this time of separation. OK, um, I'm going through the dark night of the soul. Why is this so painful? So, um, yeah, I mean, that could explain why their desire was the sun. Um, if they are experiencing the dark night of the soul right now in their situation, then yes, I can see that very clearly. All right, let's get a couple more for Libra. I don't know what this is between us, but I think it might be magic. Did you put a spell on me? Oh, so again, that could be something that might have given them a little anxiety and caused them to bolt Libra. If you are truly that queen of wands energy, then you probably are also a little bit of a witchy woo. Okay, maybe that sort of scared this person. Um, you know, with all of the misconceptions on TikTok and, and spiritual Twitter and all this other bullshit out there right now, um, this person may have some negative misconceptions about spirituality okay so spending time with others is so unsatisfying no one understands me the way you do so what they may have seen as someone impulsive or someone who wasn't serious now they're starting to see you Libra as truly understanding them because again the lover's energy is saying that the two of you are, are more alike than you actually think and I think that this person saw parts of themselves in you and it scared them um, and they didn't want to acknowledge that that was also 
their energy that they were afraid of. Okay, let's get one more shuffle. Oh my gosh. One more shuffle for Libra and four cards come out. So I plan to be honest with you about my feelings. I'm just trying to find the courage. Okay, so this card is confirming exactly what we saw in the reading. I know how easy it is to fall into doubts. Just know things aren't always what they seem. So once more, things going on behind the scenes with this person and their other relationship dynamics that you don't know about, Libra. Um, so yeah, I'm sure you have your own negative misconceptions of this person as well. And they're telling you that you don't have the full story, okay? I've had my fair share of unhealthy attachments, but you have... But excuse me, but with you, I have never felt more free. So once again, going back to what I said, you know, this person now sees your recklessness or irresponsibility as um, as something that set them free from their situation. OK, and then finally, I'm working on my financial stability so that I can be free and independent. I want to provide security and build a future with you. So Libra, going back to what I said before, when we pulled the king of of pentacles you know i do think that that's what this person is working on um but you know financial stability needs to be had for this person and you know for themselves right before they can provide that to you or anyone else so um hopefully this reading resonated with someone out there if it did don't forget to hit the like button comment share and also you guys enjoy the rest of Sagittarius season enjoy the holidays and uh, I hope to see you guys again very soon stay safe out in them streets love you bye